Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're going to go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. Collective, y'all out there doing the thing. I'm picking up on it in the energy. And the, the, way, the only word that I can say is just like, wow. It's like you're coming out with the one, two. It's like, boom, I'm out here. I'm doing my thing. I'm showing up, showing out. I don't care who said what about me. Very specifically, you are who you say you are, collective. Not what anybody else says that you are, right? You are proving your worth and not accepting what anybody wants to give you, which is obviously far less than your worth. You are not accepting that because you know the value of who you are, right, collective? I'm feeling a lot of very powerful moves happening right now. A lot of things happening. Um, I said on my very last reading that I uploaded, very decisive energy that came out earlier today. So it's like now you've made a decision, you're moving forward, you're making power moves is what I'm hearing in my downloads, right? Power moves, boss moves. Okay, collective, let's get it. So the energy that came out first is the, the hermit in the inverse. So this may have been where you started at, you know, feeling you know, rejected, outcasted, lonely, you know, isolated from whoever this three of cups is. And we already know that because that's the situation you've been dealing with. People who have been trying to oust you, this group right here, place the energy wherever it resonates with whoever did this to you, friend, family member, your boss, the coworker trying to be your boss, some random person off the street, you know what I'm saying? Place the energy with whoever resonates, but you most certainly felt rejected and isolated from them because we already know that's what they meant, right? They wanted to isolate you. So yes, you were feeling that energy, but Padau, your energy is shifting. I told y'all, y'all was out here making boss moves out here. Ace of Cups is coming out. This is you opening your heart, new emotional situations, new feelings, heart chakra being activated. We had the crown chakra the other day. Now this is heart chakra, right? Y'all, <laughs> y'all about to level up, like legit level up. So this is like shifting. This is like an intentional shift. So I'm just going to point this out really quick. The Hermit in the Inverse is you in that shutdown mode, shutdown energy. I'm, I don't feel motivated. You know, they made me feel some type of way, whether it's angry, sad, depressed, however you want to, you know, say it. They made you feel out of the group, right? But in order to feel a part of something, you need to open up, right? You don't want to be going around some new people and you're still in this, this kind of, you know, with the cloud over your head energy, you know what I'm saying? But now it's like, no, I'm making a decision to get out of that. This is literally what I said in my last reading, y'all. I felt a very decisive energy. Somebody made a choice to get out of this funky energy, right? You are not lying as well, walking around with a cloud over your head, right? <laughs> Ace of Cups, you are opening your own heart, deciding to love again. You might've walked outside and felt the sun on your face for the first time and it felt good. Heard the birds singing, you're like, I know that song, little chirpy chirp bird, you know? <laughs> This is what I'm feeling, like you are opening up again, making a decision to get out of that funky energy. But it's because you were you were juggling, right? And I do feel that, you know, it was kind of like you had to choose to decide your energy, right? But there's two of pinnacles, juggling, coping, trying to find balance. How do you balance out that negative energy with what you really want to feel, which is your natural energy? Because y'all been coming out bold, but you know what I'm saying? When you move into that new life that you're creating for yourself right about now, heart chakra needs to be open right and this is where this two of pentacles energy is coming in you know balancing and you know multitasking and trying to cope and you know juggling this energy that you felt right here this is somebody's emotions that they were dealing with earlier today right with the eight of wands in the inverse feeling stuck and having delays right because that's the energy that the hermit in the inverse carries so you had to balance that out somebody made a conscious decision to get out of that energy and move to the temperance Good man elevations right here elevations temperance energy balancing out so you move from making a choice to balance and balancing things out in your energy to finding the balance common ground patience a good blend a good mix tempering your emotions tempering your your attitude just really being calm about things and deciding your own energy this situation doesn't need to change your energy you see what i'm saying y'all came out of the, the king of cups earlier today being in control of your emotion the king of the cup the king of the emotions and here you are de just demonstrating it right here boom this is it because you're now coming out as the emperor y'all boss moves all day long now if this ain't boss enough i don't know what it is to be the boss of your own emotions opening your heart opening your heart emperor 
being in a position of leadership, authority. This is definitely a position of power. You are in your own power, your own personal power, your spiritual power. However you say power, power, okay, is what you got going on collective. You're in your power for sure, right? And this takes a lot of discipline. Y'all Y'all look how it falls out under the Ace of Cups in the upright. A lot of discipline to make sure your energy is shifting, right? It takes a lot of courage, a lot of strength to decisively get out of that Hermit in the inverse energy, decisively get out of that Eight of Wands in the inverse energy. It's not easy. I'm not gonna sit up here and lie. You know, being on the spiritual path and deciding to stay positive all the time is a battle sometimes with this Two of Pentacles. It is, but you make, you've gotta make a choice to open your hearts, open your hearts. And you'll be surprised when you open your heart, what comes out, magician. Opening the floodgates to co-create with the universe. Opening the floodgates of all your skills, your talents, your resources, your logic. You open up all that the Most High has given you. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, uh, literally, it's like a correlation between your energy is shut down. The things that you're able to do might be limited. But when you open up fully, you start opening the floodgates of what you can really do. Right? with whoever is about to come in your life three of pentacles and the upright is coming out for y'all y'all are entering to new agreements new teamwork new partnerships with people and this is exactly why you opened up i'm getting in my downloads new pro new projects new contracts people that you're working with new friends mending relationships with friends and family i'm seeing a, a mending of uh, relationships specifically take that if it resonates um, that doesn't resonate for everybody who wants to mend something, you know what I'm saying? It's already been broken, but I do feel that for somebody. Um, but this is getting new partnerships that work for you with this temperance energy, right? Things that are on your level, teamwork, partnership, people to work with you and not against you. Come on now, collective, you know what I'm talking about. You are done working with people who don't want to be worked with, right? You know, it's like a fight all the time. They always try to put you down and keep you ousted. You're not, no, 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 no. we don't want them people go shoe fly. You don't want them people, right? You want these over here, the three of pentacles, teamwork, working together to work, accomplish a certain goal, right? This is partnerships, real partnerships. This could be like a two of cups energy. You see what I'm saying? You know, and this could resonate whether you're getting a new job, you're starting a new business, you, you know, like I said, mending a relationship, whether you're deciding to um, get into business partnership with someone, however that resonates and shows up in your personal situation. But I do feel a lot that the Empress Energies has a lot to do with it. This is um, calling in the energy of being abundant, fertile. You know, you're very creative, very nurturing. I'm feeling a nurturing energy. You might be nurturing uh, relationships, nurturing new business partnerships, nurturing new friends, new community. And I do, I did have a download about that specifically. Somebody may have been looking for a community. Let's say if this was spiritual community, right? Whoever that was in the spiritual community was not your tribe, okay? <laughs> they were not your tribe. You're about to find your tribe over here, okay? So however the situation resonates in your situation, you're about to find your people, your people, not whoever these other people were that thought you were not worthy and they wanted to outcast you. Those were not your people. You know what I'm saying? You're opening your heart to these guys, your tribe, your people with this Empress energy. This is also very mothering. I do feel an energy of creation and birthing specifically. Not necessarily sure if you are having a child. Congratulations if you are. But I feel a birthing of something, a birthing of a business, a birthing of a craft, a birthing of a new life, a birthing of the new improved you. Spiritual awakening, anyone? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm feeling a lot of birthing energy. I did get a download about contracts specifically. Somebody might be signing contracts. I did say the other day somebody was going on interviews and doing, um, putting out resumes. So I'm, I'm getting a download about contracts. You're about to sign a contract. Whatever that contract is, is about to be lucrative. Okay? Because you're looking for the contracts and the, you know, the, the jobs and business partnerships that work for you that are lucrative, that work with you and not against you. You see what I'm saying, collective? Heavy on that Empress, uh, Empress energy, bringing it in, but it's also your Emperor energy. Y'all see how y'all come out as both? If y'all not in, y'all see the power? I don't know what it is. This is blending your masculine and feminine energy. Somebody is woke, baby. Somebody is woke. You have done it. Blending your masculine and feminine energy together to make it work for you. And look how the universe responds. Look at it. With the tower in inverse, you get to release all that negative energy and bring in all the positive energy with that Ace of Cups energy. All that energy flows. All of it flows. 
you're releasing the old and you're like in with the new universe most high i thank you my spirit guides and my ancestors thank you for bringing me thus far and i look forward to what you continue to do for me in my life y'all the, the, the voyage is sweet the journey is sweet right collective because here we got the sun and this is what i'm saying i had a vision you might have been walking outside you know felt the sun on your face for the first time maybe you've been in the hermit you know rejected and being isolated and like you know staying to yourself a while you know when that energy kind of stays on you you don't want to go out you don't want to you know be around people because you feel isolated so you tend to isolate yourself somebody might be going out in the sun and enjoying some of that good old vitamin d you know what i'm saying you know the sun in the air energy is this is health vitality this is success positivity fame truth you know what i'm saying this is illumination you are being illuminated collective the new you is here you know who they thought that you were was somebody that does not exist okay they, who they thought you were did not exist you were always this person they were just dedicated to not seeing who you were right because they carried the energy of the knight of pentacles in the inverse lazy materialistic and shallow very it's like just lazy they they don't understand how to work for what you work for it doesn't compute for them so they're not on your level and you know what i'm saying so you're leaving them behind people that are not on your level people that are not tempered like you people who don't want to work with you are going to get left behind with this chariot energy this is positive movement forward confidence courageousness success and moving forward you're moving successfully away from people like this collective and when that happens it's a ten of swords painful ending backstab of betrayal y'all they're not going to know how to handle this <laughs> This is a backfire for the ages, boy. I'm telling you, it's like you standing up in your power, blending your masculine and feminine energy. It sits them all the way down. Go have several seats, whoever this is in your situation, y'all. But they, they're not going to know how to take this, right? But the funny thing is, these are the people that carry the page of the swords and the inverse energy. It's kind of like they're going to be watching you, watching your back as you walk away. You know what I'm saying? Page of swords and the inverse is like gossiping, slandering, uh, stalking you, right? They, want, they, still want, they still want to watch you, right? So it's like, they got to watch from the nosebleeds because the show is with you, honey. You, the show is going to continue. Nothing is going to stop your show. Chariot energy, right? So yeah, so they might talk about you. Who cares? They might be, they really need to be talking about this Ten of Swords they need to be dealing with, okay? <laughs> you know, they're also going to carry the Ace of Wands and the Inverse energy. This is like blocked energy, not being motivated. This person is going to be shut all the way down. Y'all, this feels like literally the most high saying, not my child touch not my anointed this is exactly what i feel in the energy y'all are coming out bossing up energy up you made a choice to get out of the energy that they put you in and look at what the most high is doing for you this is what god does and they're just gonna have to sit on it you know what i'm saying with this eight of swords energy they're gonna look y'all this is them being trapped in their head been in their own mentality it doesn't matter how you leave you can leave as gracefully as you want you might be you know doing one of these things i see on social media like making some grand announcement that they're leaving the company or whatever leaving that friend family member whatever you know but it they're still going to be stuck in their head they are still won't see you for how powerful you are right now but it doesn't matter you know they have to stay in their own head right this is a lesson that this person is going to have to learn and or people to how to get out of their head with this eight of swords mentality right you know this is limited thinking being stuck in their own meant trap mentality right this is them keeping themselves stuck this person can get out from um this little bandage around their arms right there's nothing keeping them trapped this is not teflon or anything this is them keeping their own self trap because of how they think about things and they're just gonna have to get going because you're leaving with this chariot energy and guess what y'all last clarifier is the wheel of fortune yet again this is fate this is destiny told y'all the most high has his hand on your life and when he does, I don't care who doesn't like you, who talks about you, who's stalking you. I don't care. The Most High will put a table in front of your enemies so they can watch you eat. Look at this, y'all. If this, if they think the Most High talking, <laughs> y'all, the Most High has got his hand on your life, and this is fate. This is destiny. Look at me messing up my cards. But yep, yeah, this is the Most High talking to you that this is successful completion. You're getting good luck, success, fortune you know, positivity, you're actually getting something that's faded for you. This is destiny. And this is karma, quite frankly, for what everybody did to you. Look at you. You're going to be eating at the table that they didn't want you at. Oh, well, they're just going to have to sit there in their eight of swords energy. All right, let's go ahead and get a divine nature oracle and we can get some advice from our collective. Card 33, reclaim innocence. All right, 
Let's see, reclaiming innocence. That's what you're doing right now. You're reclaiming who you are. Many of us were spoon fed the concept of original sin, but we have never heard the story of original innocence. It goes like this. You were born from purity, a luminous soul created from a morsel of the divine housed in a human body. You always have this innocence at your core, no matter what or who happens to you. All you have to do to experience it again is to fall back into the wings of your own soul and let it carry you. There is no mistake, no error, no sin or wrong that cannot be submerged into source and remembered back to its original pure and magical state. Love dissolves all things unlike itself. So choose the loving eyes of a new parent and gaze at your own life with captivation and wonder. Now is the time to connect with the innocent, whole and breathtaking soul that you were born with. Y'all, this is you. Like I said, that Ace of Cups energy. This is you remembering yourself back into source and coming out with the loving nature and reclaiming your innocence. Let's get a mystical oracle and we'll wrap up. Card 20, under my umbrella, Ella, Ella. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> y'all know I can't say. Yeah, but you're under your umbrella and I'm, I'm really connecting with the Empress energy here. Um, very mothering, compassionate energy. A man is perched on the back of a giant parrot. He is holding an umbrella, which keeps the bird dry from the rain. This man is happy to help. He does not fear climbing up the big bird or a possible nip from her sharp beak. He is optimistic that his small umbrella is good enough to protect the bird from the weather. He is a true friend, aware of the power of a helping touch or a smile to brighten someone's day. In turn, he is rewarded with a burst of color in his own life. Look, rewarded with a burst of color in his own life. Look at you coming out. You're, Most High put you under his umbrella collective. Okay, and look at you bursting out with all them colors. This is faded, y'all. This is destiny. You reclaimed your innocence and you're actually releasing all the negative energy that everybody wanted to put on you. You're coming out, bossed up, energy up, coming out as the sun with the chariot energy. This is fate. And this is the most high giving you your karmic justice. That's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.